I'm Kelly Moran and this is my home studio. I've been working from home and um, this is art in, um, art in the time of COVID. So I've been working on these pieces that are uh, a little different from what I normally work on. My lino cuts are usually pretty fast and furious. I've uh, slowed down quite a bit. I've taken um, um, my images and I've developed them more and they're more um, intense and, and they have all sorts of little hidden things in them like this one here. This is uh, kind of my response to COVID and to all sorts of things that are happening in the world and it's kind of a um, Medusa and she has uh, cords running out around her and snakes and explosions and she's in outer space and there's all sorts of lights that are going off and she's in this bubble where she you know you can't be touched and um and that's one thing i miss quite a bit is uh hugging people i almost hugged a friend in the park today and it was a really weird feeling because <laughs> we just kind of went like that and so um this uh, this COVID-19 has affected me and uh, my family in an interesting way. We've uh, gotten closer and um, we've been gardening and working on projects around the house and um, feeling very, very, very fortunate. I'm here in the Heights on 11th Street uh, in the Redbud building. You have to wear a mask when you walk in the door. It's kind of like a fishbowl, so I'm here by myself most of the time. And when I need to print, I come here to do my prints. So uh, come on in. This is my lovely press that I print on. I wanted to show you, I wanted to show you some plates that I've been working on. This was the first plate, the first piece of art that I did um, during COVID. And uh, it was in a show in West Texas at the Plainview um, Contemporary Art Museum uh, for a show called uh, Mask. It was actually an online show. Actually, it wasn't called Mask. It was called um, The Art of Covering Your Face. It was an online auction, and everybody did uh, pieces of uh, works about um, masks, wearing a mask. So the next one I did was the COVID genie. And uh, he's a genie and uh, there's all sorts of nature around him and lots of little critters and uh, the little balls that are forming are, um, are COVID balls. And so over here is the, uh, the tiny plate that um, I did because uh, I, I, I wanted to do the uh, steamroller. I was so happy that we were going to do the steamroller again this year. Print Matters um, had to cancel it, just like everybody had to cancel everything. And so I did a small version of a man falling. Um, and then this is the last one, and it's uh, called Skedaddle. It's of a man running. Over here behind me are some of the proofs for the plates and this proof is called by the waters and that's the one that went out to uh plain view and uh this is the covid genie in black and white and then this one is the covid genie in gold and black and if you look closely you can see some little critters some um little bees and little butterflies and and it's all about nature and uh, the COVID genie. And this one over here is the man falling and he's got birds around him and he's falling into um, a landscape. I'm so happy that I was able to um, share this with you. And I want you to know that everything's going to be all right. We're going to get through this together and we're going to come out on the other side. And I love you all and I can't wait to see you. Uh, I can't wait to have you come visit. Uh, 
add that yes, these works that I did, um, the specific ones about COVID came out because of the terrifying situation that we're all living in and not knowing what is going to happen during the summer and whether the uh, things are going to get worse later on. We're all in a quarantine. Our lives have been suppressed. Um, and so I did something specific, about four or, four or five works specifically for that. And because it was, it was just pouring out of me, it was just coming out uh, the emotions that I felt at that time. But in addition to that, I had to kind of stray away a little bit from that, the definition of that work of art that I was doing and concentrate uh, a little bit on what I'm going to be show next year, which is going to be, I don't know if it's going to be virtual or physical at the Archway Gallery, and I'm going to have a show in April. And so I've been trying to work towards that as well. And uh, in looking at them, I had the notion that really what I was doing is I was doing like a journey uh, of myself through all this year. Thank you so much. For me, this has been a time of uh, experimentation. I have uh, had the time because of the isolation from the outside world to finally um, experiment uh, with both material and, and material and method, which is exciting. Um, at the same time, the isolation is provoking anxiety. Um, part of the anxiety is how to show art at a time when we cannot be in person. There are no art galleries. Uh, there are no group shows going on right now. So it certainly is a time of great production. Um, and also a time of experimentation, particularly with online tools. But also it is a time for questioning. What, do, uh, what does art mean right now? I do things like embroidery. What does it mean to embroider in a meaningful way? when so many things are going on in the world. Uh, and at first sight, it could feel that this is not quite relevant. And I have to answer those questions, I think for myself, um, in a way that perhaps it's not that very different from other um, cultures or people at other time in history who were confronted with big events uh, in life. So art for me is a response and is often an unexpected response to unexpected events. Mm -hmm.